Yamaha E01. The Japanese two-wheeler giant has just released the E01 electric scooter on a trial basis in its home turf. Interesting to know is the fact that the scooter was only a concept some years back, but now it's being prepared for markets all around the world. The cute little scooty has been developed by Yamaha, including its motor that has a power output of 11 horsepower. The fixed battery tucked neatly between the frame packs enough juice to last 104 kilometers on a full charge. Despite being an urban scooter, Yamaha has injected the DNA of its sports bikes to E01's frame in order to make it easier to ride. The scooter is shipped with three chargers, out of which the quick charger is the fastest with the capability of charging from 0 to 90% in just an hour. Since the E01 isn't fully released yet, its price isn't confirmed at the moment. Silence S01 Plus Owing to the spectacular success of the Silence S01, the Spanish brand has recently released its Plus version that boasts meaner aesthetics and better internals. The S01 Plus lives up to its name by featuring a new adjustable rear shock absorber together with a new tire and brakes at the back end, making it more agile and controllable at higher speeds. The scooter further highlights its sporty character by its satin gray paint scheme with a contrast of black and red that attracts attention from quite a distance. The beefed up scooty does not disappoint when it comes to its propulsion system as well. A 12 horsepower hub motor attached to a removable battery makes for an extremely practical city scooter. The battery itself can last up to 130 kilometers, which is quite a leap from some of the competitors. The feature-packed S0 Plus has been priced at 7,500 euros, exclusive of any government grants. BMW CE04 The BMW CE04 is unlike any other scooter on the market. It looks as if a concept has been put to sale on the market without any tweaks. The electric scooter benefits from BMW's all-electric car lineup as far as its battery is concerned, which is a great feature since the car maker has already proven its metal quite some time ago. The liquid-cooled 42 bhp motor is sure to bring smiles to the face and the bottom laid battery forms the perfect geometry for a sprightly scooter. The expected range for CE04 is 130 kilometers and the top speed is limited to 120 kilometers an hour. The fast charger can juice up the battery to 80% in an hour, and the user-friendly and tech-laden instrument cluster is also a treat to look at. The looks and the performance come at a price, though, which currently starts at €11,000. Honda PCX Electric the Honda PCX Electric is a budget-friendly, modern electric scooter meant for occasional school and grocery runs. It's based on the platform of the PCX Hybrid, which makes it familiar to the users of scooters. The electrified version packs two removable batteries that can easily be swapped in Honda's special vending machines. The use of swappable batteries eliminates the hassle of lengthy charging times and makes for a convenient, eco-friendly commuter. The use of switchable batteries also compensates for the fact that the combined range is only 40 kilometers. Power figure stands at about 6 horsepower, which at best makes the Honda PCX Electric usable only for neighborhood runs. What Honda's quirky scooter lacks in power, it makes up by providing other creature comforts. The front brakes are ABS, while the underseat storage is plenty for a scooter of this class. The instrument cluster is all digital, and the ergonomics are well laid out making even the shortest tours plenty comfortable. Yamaha Neos Another recently unveiled electric scooter by Yamaha is the Neos that directly rivals the Honda PCX Electric. The e-scooter has a modern design language that perfectly complements its electric DNA and Yamaha's concept two-wheelers presented in the past few years. 
The Neos is essentially an electrified version of a 50cc scooter that can last 45 kilometers when backed by both of its removable batteries. The presence of two riding modes allows decent customization for the rider, and the top speed is limited to 40 kilometers an hour. The Neos is built using Yamaha's classic top-notch built quality that's further made attractive by the use of Bluetooth communication and an all-LED lighting display. The beginner electric scooter would be priced at around 3,500 euro and is intended solely for the European market. NIU MQI GT EVO The Chinese have excelled in the EV landscape, and now they're conquering the two-wheeler segment as well. The NIU MQI GT EVO is one great example of a value-for-the-money electric scooter that's packed full of all the features one can imagine. Rivaling 125cc gasoline mopeds, the Chinese scooter can touch a top speed of 100 kilometers an hour with an uninterrupted range of 75 kilometers. Despite the bulky dimensions, the total weight falls just shy of 130 kilograms, which is no mean feat for a scooter laden with heavy batteries. In addition, the MQI GT Evo packs three riding modes and a multi-information digital cluster. The Niu mobile app keeps you in touch regarding the location and the trouble codes. The price for this feature-packed electric scooter starts at 5,000 euros. Super Soko CT3 The Super Soko CT3 is another brilliant Chinese electric scooter that's just entered the market with some of the first-in-class features. The Maxi scooter has wide proportions that are made eye-catchy thanks to its chiseled front fascia and an all-LED display both at the front and the back end. However, the internals are the real stuff worth talking about. The battery-driven scooter can run continuously for 180 kilometers with a top speed of 120 kilometers an hour. The ride comfort is also made excellent thanks to the use of a wide and cushy seat and gas-charged shock absorbers at the rear end. Like any other modern electric scooter, the CT3 also offers a comprehensive suite of electronic aids. The smart unlocking and park assist functions are two of the most impressive features in this regard. The astonishingly amazing scooter has just been unveiled, and the likely price tag is expected to cross 5,500 euros. 